Hi, OK, so we've now got our WordPress blog set up and we've configured it and changed the basic WordPress settings. So we've done things like get rid of our sample page and hello world post. If I actually hit renew, those should now disappear off the basic blog, uh, along with the categories of links, the blog role there that we don't want. So now what we need to look at is some plugins and get some plugins set up on our blog. So what we're going to do is log back in, which I've simply got as a separate page and I'm already logged in. OK, so here we are in the WordPress admin panel, and what we need to do is go to plugins to actually install the new plugins. However, before I do so, I've just noticed at the top there's a little message saying there's a new version of WordPress available, more up to date than the one I'm on, and it's always worth keeping up to date while you can. So let's click on the Please Update Now link and quickly run the update. I'll click on Update Automatically, and that should go through and automatically update me to the latest version of WordPress. How quick and easy was that? That was good. OK, plugins. What we need to do is go to Add New. And I have a list of basic plugins that we're going to add. Uh, and we'll go through them one by one. I will also put that list below this video so you can see the list and you can copy and paste them into this uh, search box here. Now, it is not the complete list of plugins that we're going to be training you on. There are an awful lot of plugins that we can use in different ways with blogs. It's one of the power, power powerful things about WordPress. There are so many plugins available, both free and paid for, um, that we can do all sorts of different things with our blog. The ones I'm going to go through in this video are the basics, the minimums that you should have installed on your blog. Uh, in fact, it's slightly more than the minimum because I've included a couple that are social media marketing as well. Uh, but these are the ones I'd recommend you start with. So we will do future videos with extra plugins and covering those in more detail as we need to. OK, the first one we're going to go for is WP Stats. Simply type in WP Stats or copy and paste it in there from the list below this video and click on search and here it is WP stats click on install now click on OK and it'll just take a second or two to install that one there we go I won't activate it yet I'll activate them all in one go so go back to add new the next one we want to add is WP backup so again type that in click on search plugins and here it is at the top WP DB backup and again all I need to do is click on install now click on OK and it will install that one and I can then go back to add new and go for the next one which is going to be post teaser so search for post teaser and when it comes up uh, it should be the top of the list again post teaser click on install now click on OK the next one we want is again back to add now uh, sorry add new and type in WP optimize click on search plugins and again, it comes up WP dash optimize. That's the correct one. Click on install now. Click on OK. Next one we want is again, click on add new. This one's a longer description. Uh, you could probably get away with just typing in Seth Godin, but it's what would Seth Godin do? OK, that's the full name. Click on search plugins. Uh, there we go. What would Seth Godin do? That's the correct one. If you just search on Seth Godin, there might be more, but this is the right one that you're looking for. Again, click on Install Now, click on OK. The next one we're after, Add New. It's a fairly simple process, this, isn't it? You know, you're just uh, searching for the relevant name and installing it. OK, Facebook Share. I'm just going to have a look through and check that I've got the right one here. Yeah, with well, this one, it's not the first one, it's the second one. It's Facebook Share New in Brackets button. OK, so grab that one, click Install Now, click on OK. Gets a little bit repetitive, but very easy. Click on Add New. Next one we're after is Tweet Meme. So that's Tweet M-E-M-E. -M -E. Click on Search Plugins. And it's the, let me check which one of these. OK, for some reason, these guys have two versions listed. Go for the newest one. Go for version 2.3. Click on Install Now. Uh, you're getting used to the process here. Very, very simple. Click on Add New One. Again, type in the next thing, which is yet another related posts plugin. OK, long description. As I say, I will put these descriptions under this uh, video so you can see them. But this is yet another related posts plugin. OK, which brings it up at the top. That's the correct one. Click on Install Now again. And the next one, we've only got a couple more here to go. Add New. 
The next one is Plugin Central, which is really useful. It allows us to automatically update our plugins all in one go. So a very useful plugin. And the last one is to do with pinging. We've already put our ping, li ping list in on a previous video. So now we need a optimizer. So this is CBNet ping optimizer. Okay, so search for CBNet ping optimizer and it should be the first one on the list. Yep, CBNet ping optimizer. Click on install now, click on OK. That's the initial list that we're going to go with for plugins. There will be more and there'll be more videos on those as and when we add them. But for the moment, those are the ones we want. So click on plugins to go to the list. Now, there are a couple here that I'm not interested in. For instance, at the moment, Hello Dolly isn't activated. and I don't want it, it just gets in the way. So I'm gonna delete that and we can actually get rid of that out of the list. Okay, so that one's cleaned out and gone. Now, there are a few others here. Uh, Jetpack I'm not using at the moment. I'm going to deactivate that until such time as we start using it and playing around with it. Supercache we will leave activated. Uh, the rest of these, what I'm going to do is tick the box, tick them all, and then just untick Jetpack, and I will simply choose the bulk action activate. Now, you may not always want to do it this way. Um, sometimes if you activate a whole bunch of plugins in one go, it can cause a problem because if one of the plugins falls over, it can throw your whole blog out of, out of whack effectively. Okay, so you may want to do it one by one uh, until you've done it the first time and you're happy that they all work. But generally, it should. So you can just click on activate, click on apply, and we now have a whole bunch of active plugins. Okay, that's how to install your plugins and activate them. The next video is going to be looking at some of these individual plugins and how you actually configure the actual plugin itself to get the most out of it. Okay, thanks very much for watching.